Number three. Battles are seeds for dominion. What did I say? Battles are what? Seeds for what? Dominion. <laughs> How many of us want dominion in life? Especially territorial dominion. Mm, without battle, it doesn't work. You can't have it. I've seen many want, bat want the territorial dominion. Let me say this to you. Sir. Whether you want battle or you don't want battle, battle is coming. And unfortunately, the greatest battle man fights is the battle of dominion. It has been from Genesis. But unfortunately, you can't have dominion until you subdue. And God bless man. And said, do what? Be fruitful. Multiply. Replenish. Subdue. And then have dominion. Until there is a subduing, dominion is far. Listen to me, sir. You can't escape battle. You were born into a battlefield. You see, this world is a battlefield. <laughs> those who stop fighting are those who died. The day you stop, listen to me, sir. The day you will stop fighting is the day you breathe your final breath. That's why you say he gave up. He gave up. He don't tire him. He gave up. <laughs> Are you here? Talk to me. Are you sure you're still here? Mm -hmm. This is why most firstborn in Africa, especially in Africa, this is why they feel frustrated. Because they assume that everything we obey them and submit to them because they are firstborns. Majority of them do not understand, listen to me sir, that you could own your, ter your territory by inheritance and lose it to battle. Are you from saying? How many of you, listen, check it of 100 homes in Nigeria when you check it out of maybe it's only 40% that their firstborn are doing well go and check it it's only maybe 40% of home you will see their firstborn leading by example spiritually financially and otherwise why they are you know this African thing. Hey, my friend, sit down. Hey, go and do this. Hey. And everybody said, because his brother. They don't know that to be the head not, does not mean big head. To be the head means battle. Are you still here with me, sir? Don't be the head means battle. And when you see them, they are relaxed. They think, they, 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 they. Yes, you can inherit fat. Listen, you can inherit house, inherit bank account, inherit those things from your. Listen to me, sir. The sustenance of it, you have to fight to keep it. The fact that you already inherited it does not mean it does not guarantee that you will keep it. Because there are forces coming to contend it with you. Many had worked in organizations that God had ordained to favor them, to be a blessing to them. But you see them, they quickly back up because they don't understand that it takes battle to dominate. It takes battle to dominate. In your quest for dominance, get ready. Prepare yourself for battle. Deuteronomy 1, 6 to 8. And the Lord God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough on this mountain. Turn 
you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorite and unto all the place near thereunto and the plain and the, in the hills and in the valleys and in the south and in the seaside and the land of the Canaanite unto Lebanon unto the great river the river Euphrates say behold I have set the land before you go in and possess it and possess the land which the Lord God swore unto your fathers Abraham Isaac and Jacob to give to them and to their seed after them go to chapter 2 from verse 24 and 25 look at that great promise God said I have given you the land it's your own go take it look at verse 25 arise ye up take your journey and pass over river Anon behold I have given into thy hand who? Shion, the Amorite, king of Hishbon, and his land, begin to possess it. How? And contend with him in what? Battle. Ah, uh -uh. Lord, I start. You say you have given me the land. Fight. Now that, strength, now that is where you become strong. Anything you, didn't, you don't fight for to keep, you are not strong enough to keep it. I don't know what's happening in my marriage. Fight to keep that marriage. I don't know my job. I don't know my job. If they plant, root it out. If they bury it, bury them with it. Are you following what I'm saying, sir? Are you following what I'm saying, sir? I guess you've never heard me preach like this before. If they bury it for you, bury them with it. Are you following what I'm saying, sir? Don't open your eyes and allow anybody poke their hands into it because they will blind you. Because I've seen believers abandon their God-given territories because they do not understand that battles are seeds for dominion. Abandon their God-given territories. Every little thing you, fizz, you, you fall out. Every little thing you back out. If they join hand together, you join hand together also. Are you from sir? I understand what they call conclave. Listen to me. <laughs> because I know that you can't take territory. You can't. You can't. You can't. Territory that you came to this. You know how long this earth has been. Satan had been on the earth before Adam was formed. Go and read your Bible. And then suddenly you just came out. And you want to buy property. You want to come for, 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 for. Oh yeah now. Come and buy. That's what they tell you. Come and buy. Let us see. I don't know why this area of my life is not working. I don't know why this area of my life. My friend, go and fight. Fight for that area of your life. Stop talking nonsense. Stop complaining. Because listen to me, uncle. Until you have dominion, you are nothing but a slave. Don't pretend about it and don't let anybody deceive you. Until you have dominion, you are, you are a slave. Don't pretend about it. Don't let anybody deceive you. You see in this head where we are, every time it's not rosy, rosy, darling. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, he said, there is time for everything under the sun. If you get to verse 8, he said there is time for war and there is time for peace. There's a time for war. Don't 
be making peace when you should be fighting are you are you following what i'm saying sir because most of all the energy would have used for battle we are using it for frivolities using it to go to a party and giving high five when you finish giving high five you will give low five when they when they put hole and machete in your hand and you see yourself in the, in the, in the, in that's low five in fact if it's not low five it's low ten you'll be giving now you think you are the only one deciding for your life there are other people also making decisions seeds for what? Dominion. You can't fight, you can't dominate. Every battle you don't fight today have robbed you of tomorrow's dominion. Any battle you decided to, not to, you decide to excuse yourself from today has robbed you of tomorrow. Any battle you refuse to fight today. It, listen to me sir. Unfortunately, life is not sentimental. I've told you that life is not merciful. Only one person is merciful and that's God. If life is merciful, the cry of some people in Nigeria, God would have heard. Life would have decided to have mercy on us. Because God hears us. But life itself is not merciful. Life is hard. Life is cruel. Listen, you want your share? It's by blow. It's by spiritual bastos. I've always told you, listen to me. Have you seen? You know that even in church, even in church, Let's imagine that 2,000 people are supposed to fellowship here today. Do you know you'll be fighting for seat? Huh? Are you aware you'll be fighting for seat? And that nobody will stand up for you? Uh -huh. Even in church. <laughs> I just they give you. Even in church. Not to talk of. <laughs> Who will live? Nobody's going to make space for you. You fight to make space for yourself. Are you following, sir? Let me say this to you. <laughs> every time, every time God wants to bring you to the place of dominion, He orchestrates battle. Even God. Because He understands that on this earth, to take territories is battle. Have you not read it? <laughs> in, let me give you a story, a brief, a brief history in the Bible. In Acts chapter 1, verse 8, he said to them, He said, And you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon me, and you shall become witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem, in Judea, I mean Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and then to the utmost part of the earth. And in Acts chapter 2, the Bible said that when the day of the Pentecost was fully come, they were one accord. And then the Holy Ghost fell upon them. And then they began to blast in tongues. 120 of them. And then there was a preaching that day. And then they became about 3,000 souls in chapter 2. And then the Bible said they were breaking the bread, having everything in common. Everything was working. They were so joyous. In chapter 3, the Bible said they went out to preach. And then they raised the man at the beautiful gate. And then from that day, as soon as they raised them, the Sahindri took them, arrested them put them in jail flogged them chapter 4 they went back home to report and then they lifted up their voice and prayed and the whole place shook huh? the whole place shook God reassured them again I'm still with you in chapter 5 the Holy Ghost killed Ananias and Sapphira in chapter 6 trouble came up huh? not just persecution trouble came up among the brothers uh, they, are, they, they are not feeding this one, this side, uh, uh, and then they raised that's when they raised people like Stephen, they raised Dickens, Stephen, Philip, and the rest of them. Am I communicating here, sir? That is in chapter in chapter six. In chapter seven, they kill Stephen. God 
was preparing them for you know all these things were happening in Jerusalem what was the assignment Jerusalem Judea Samaria utmost part of the earth but they were still occupying one spot and God said you guys don't know me you guys don't know me my assignment is that you reach the end of the earth and you are still you are still in one room when I have prepared when I prepared that you be a landlord you are still in one room some quick notice they give you is not it's not Satan no it's God <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every battle raging against you war comes to them today ah they are defeated today in the name of Jesus they are brought down today in chapter 8 soon as they kill Stephen the Bible said they now understood that war has come that was when Philip ran to Samaria and began to spread the gospel put up chapter 8 from verse 1 and then saw concerning to the death of the and then and then what happened and at that time there was what a great persecution against the church which was at what Jerusalem and they did what they were all scattered abroad throughout all the region of Judea and some did you notice here where the God said they were going to be his witnesses from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the uttermost part of the earth look at where the God scattered them to when they scatter where did they go to Judea and where and where except the apostles when you read and they scattered around the God, God will bring battle. battle. Read, study the book of when you get to chapter 12. When they began to settle again, he said, You are still relaxing. He brought James, killed him, took Peter, put him in prison. And then the church began to pray. It's God's pattern. Tell anybody it's God's pattern. Say it again, it's God's pattern of giving us dominion battle when David converted Goliath this was his understanding he knew that though he has been anointed king but he will die at the back of his father's house if he does not confront Goliath as soon as he took up Goliath's head what happened his name went abroad what is that Goliath confronting you Kill it. You, are, you see that fame? Your father, give me fame. Give me fame. And every time Goliath come, you go to hide. The way God gives you fame is through Goliath. Kill it. Are you here with me, sir? Are you here with me? Yes, kill it. Eliminate the Philistines. You will have dominion. Your name will went, go abroad. Territory can only belong to you when you fight for it and win. If you don't fight for it and win, people will still come. Are you following me, sir? Others will still be laying claim. They will lay claim to you win, beat every one of them down. Eliminate all of them and then gain dominion. Never think that one day Satan will get tired of you because <laughs> he will never get tired as long as you're you are alive. He knows there is a destiny God has made for you and that your destiny is glorious. He will never get tired or give up. He will not get tired or give up. He will not get tired or give up. He will not, he won't hand you over. Satan will look at you and say, you know, you are very tall, handsome, dark, I like you. Take your inheritance. If that is your thinking. No, he doesn't behave that way. He's a tyrant. He knows what dominion is. 
fight for it. It's Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 10. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The reason why he told you flesh and blood, he said, what we are fighting does not get tired. They don't get tired. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, because of these people we are fighting, take on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day in the evil day I have told you that listen you don't pray out evil day you don't pray out evil day when evil day come you stand you withstand it you don't there is no amount of fasting and prayer that take out evil day everybody has an evil day may you be prepared for your evil day The person you are dealing with does not have pity. He does not have pity. He does not have mercy. He does not consider you. You are inconsequential as far as he's concerned. His assignment in your life is to kill, to steal, to destroy. It is your responsibility to wake up, child of God. Are you full? I'm saying, yes, sir. Many of you don't know that until you wake up, nobody wakes up in your family. Many of you don't know that the, your family is depending on your prayer. They are depending on your fasting. They are depending on your rising for them to rise. It is not time, sir, to relax. It is not time to sit down. It is not time to fold your hand. It is time to fight. If dominion is your heart desire, 